what's good guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you the best Windows 10 settings and tweaks to minimize your input delay on mouse and keyboard since I do know for a fact that since the latest Windows 10 update tons of people are experiencing some additional input delay and you know I just thought I'm gonna help the boys out bro bro the fit is the fit is kind of fire not gonna lie there i would highly appreciate if you could maybe leave a like on this video this would help me out so so much guys i'm still by the way hosting a sk61s giveaway so if you want to maybe join all the infos are as well down in the description and with that said let's get straight in this video and yeah guys for the first part of today's video all i want to do is go into a windows search bar and type in device until you find device manager control panel and just simply click on it and as you can see this new window here opens and what I want you to do is search for human interface devices and just simply click here on this small arrow until this huge drop down menu here opens. And now all you guys have to do is find your mouse and keyboard because I would highly recommend you to do it for both because this step applies for both um, pretty much all your input devices you have here on your PC. And as you can see right now here, my mouse is a Logitech G Pro Superlight. So I'm going to look for Logitech G Hub Virtual Mouse here, this one. And it should just be named with whatever mouse you got plugged into your PC. If you've got a Razer Viper Mini, I don't know, it should be called Razer Viper Mini, I do believe. This is how it works on Windows. And what you need to do is then right click on your mouse, go into properties. And as you see this new window here, Logitech G Hub Virtual Mouse properties. Um, for you it's going to be called exactly how your mouse is called. Just simply go into power management and make sure allow the computer to turn off this device to save power that this is 100% unchecked. It should be by default here checked, just simply uncheck it, click on OK and do it for everything which is related to your mouse or keyboard. As you can see right now here is as well my keyboard, SteelSeries Apex Pro. Just simply open the properties again, go into power management. I already did it myself, but it should be on default again here checked. Just make sure to uncheck it. So Windows can't actually lower the latency for your devices. And yeah, therefore you're just gonna have less input delay guys because it's not gonna save some power and it's always gonna run at 100%. And with that said, you're pretty much done here for the first step. Just simply close the window and you're good to go. And yeah, guys, for this next part, all I want you to do is make sure that you're running your mouse at 1000 megahertz pulling rate. And this is going to get a little bit more tricky since there's some mice out there, like here, my main mouse, the Superlight, where you can only change your pulling rate in the software itself. But there are on the other side as well mice where you have to press a button here on the bottom side of your mouse where it says literally like um, 250 hertz, um, 500 hertz, 1000 hertz and you just have to make sure that it's shining in the right color or whatsoever. So what I want you to do right now is turn your mouse upside down and check if you have any of these buttons here which are not related to DPI. Don't um, misinterpret this one with the DPI button guys. This here is specifically one only for the megahertz and if you can put it on a thousand megahertz. Of course the difference is not gonna be that big but it should be maybe a little bit noticeable if you're more into comp and all this stuff guys so just make sure even even though if you don't notice it you just want to run the best settings possible this is just how it works guys and yeah just make sure to check it in your software either here as you can see um the report rate this is also how they call it sometimes hertz report rate and yeah guys just real quick don't misinterpret your dpi with your megahertz guys because there are only a few mice out there in the world with actually have more than a thousand megahertz all of the basic or casual ones or the mainstream ones they're all running either 125 this is the lowest or 1000 megahertz so just make sure to put it on a thousand so you're running your mouse at its fullest potential at the max speed and with that said we're done here as well with this step and yeah guys in this next step i just want to tell you if you have a usb 3.0 port on the back side of your pc or on the front side wherever you want to plug your mouse in always prefer those over usb 2.0 the gray ones because your data transfer is just going to be way faster with usb type 3 and yeah i'm also going to give you right now here a small tip especially for all the people with wireless mice and i'm going to show you right now here how i get the least amount of input delay on a wireless mouse just going to roll the clip here and how I fix this issue so I get the least amount of input delay on my G Pro Superlight is that I use the charging cable and plugged in my USB receiver right now here. So as you can see right now there is my mouse and my mouse is exactly here near to it. And then I just put this mouse bungee somewhere here. It's holding the receiver you know there. So it's always really close you have the least amount of actually like um, travel distance. And yeah this is directly plugged into my PC into USB 3.0. So I get the least amount of input delay. So if you're running a wireless mouse, always try to do it like this. You obviously don't have to put it on a mouse bungee, but yeah, it was just like really cool in my opinion. So I put it there and yeah. And yeah guys, for this next step, all I want to do is go into a Windows search bar and type in control until you see the control panel and just simply click on it. 
And under the first category, system and security, just clicking on this green highlighted system and security font, then click on power options. And as you can see right now here, we've got the power options for Windows 10 and just simply click here on this drop down menu, choose what the power buttons do. And as you can see right now, we can't really change any of those settings. So before we can do that, we actually have to press change settings that are currently unavailable. And now we got here a quite interesting option, which is called turn on fast startup, which is recommended by system by default. This helps start your PC faster after shutdown, restart isn't affected. But there's a the thing right now guys, I read on the internet that tons of people have complaints about this because if they turn it on, they actually gain a ton of extra input delay with all their devices on Windows. This is actually one or one of the settings where you have to try it out for yourself. If it does actually help you to turn this off and save the changes obviously here, if you want to apply it. And yeah, you just have to try it for yourself guys. Maybe it will help you, maybe not. I just want to put it in this video because there are tons of people out there saying that this actually caused some huge extra input delay. So I thought I might just put it here in this video. And yeah, just as mentioned, click save changes and we should be good to go here as well. And yeah guys, for the last part of today's video, I wanna show you a program which is called Timer Set Resolution, which I already showed I think four or five times in different videos, but I always wanna recommend it to people because what this program does is really awesome. If you take actually a look here, it says current resolution um, 1000 or one with like three zeros. And those are 1000 milliseconds, which means one millisecond. And if we press on maximum, you can see that you can pretty much reduce your whole entire delay on Windows 10. Um, by half, which is only like 0.5 milliseconds now, the whole entire delay. And this works for any device. It doesn't matter if you're on controller, mouse and keyboard, whatsoever. This works for everything and this program is just simply really cool. I'm gonna leave a link in the description as well guys. And yeah, as mentioned guys, um, I already explained this like more or less four or five times how to do it. So I'm just gonna leave a link um, where I show you in another video how to install it and set it up and yeah with that said we're done here as well And yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video I hope you found it helpful and if so please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel I still have tons of other performance tweak videos here on my channel Where I show how to get lower ping get more consistent FPS and the best Windows 10 settings overall for gaming Maybe you want to check them out I'm gonna link all of them down in the description as well and yeah guys, if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section as well. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace.